Hey everyone, I hope you are doing well. I myself am a little bit ill, so I would like to first and foremost apologise for this nasally voice. <laughs> but I'm back doing another episode of Raven's Story today. So we finished off last episode with Raven giving birth to little Olive over here who is not asleep, even though it's like two in the morning, <laughs> but never mind. And we also got little Ash here who is is she begging for food? Um, I don't know what she's doing. She's trying to get her attention anyway. Raven's still in her hospital gown, which I might get to change out of because surely that is not the most comfiest thing <laughs> to wear. Actually, shall I just send her straight to bed? Yeah, let's just go to sleep. So I'm thinking this episode, um, we're obviously gonna age up Olive because babies, you can't do anything with them on the Sims. They're so boring. They literally just sit there and cry and nothing. What I'd love to do ideally is take baby Olive down to the park in her stroller push chair thing and show her the world, but obviously can't do that in Sims, so we age it up to a toddler and take it to the park anyway. Kind of get little Olive to see the world that she has been born into. Not out of choice, so poor <laughs> Olive. <laughs> But, come on, wake up, it's nearly at six o'clock. You know what, Olive's been quite a good little baby. She's not cried at all and it's it's been like four hours. She's just happily, just chilling, just chilling there. I feel like I've not spent any time at all with the baby, but I just want to age her into a toddler, you know. I might get her to do some little talks and rocks and <laughs> a few cuddles. Okay, I think you've had sufficient rest, Raven. I know you've just given birth, but... I'm not gonna go easy on you. What are you doing just laying in bed when you've got a baby there? What are you doing? Get up. <laughs> she's like what have I got myself into oh my god <laughs> what am I doing I've got this little thing at the other side of the room that's just making weird little noises and I've got to go talk to it and I don't want to <laughs> come on Raven get up I also think her sleeping top has somehow been deleted in my mask get rid of all my cc so i'll update that when we age up the toddler oh she's got a smelly bum now let's change a diaper then oh we've reached parenting level two that was quite quick oh god she's she's crying so much now that four hours of silence was it was a blessing and now she's she's doing some crying oh my gosh stop it <laughs> stop it <laughs> Alex Moya, I'm starving. Wanna go grab breakfast with me at the garden restaurant? Alex, I just had a little baby. I really can't do that. How cute does Raven look though, cuddling Olive? So cute. Also, it really bugs me that this baby has come out completely the wrong skin tone. Like, if you look at Raven and the dad, Josh, I mean, you just wouldn't have that kind of skin tone. It makes no sense, but we'll fix that when she ages up. Also, let's talk a little bit about Joshua in the last episode. So he quite obviously abandoned us at the hospital, which I feel like was the last straw kind of to having Joshua in our life and looking after this baby. So Raven's gonna be an independent single mother raising up Olive all on her own and she's gonna do a fantastic job because Raven is basically just amazing. So that's how we're gonna do it. Oh my gosh, look at all that poo. Look at all that poo. Oh, that's disgusting. That's really disgusting. Can you not clean it? Why are you doing another poo on there? Let me clean it. Let oh my go. God, no. Oh <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm so sorry, Ash. Seriously, Ash, how long are you taking this poo for? You've been pooing for about an hour now. How much worse are you gonna make this disgusting tray? Come on, just get it out. Just squeeze, squeeze, Ash. I think she's broken, I think she's broken. Clean the litter box. Why did you put your sandwich down so close to that disgusted litter box also, may I add? Let's, what we're gonna do, <laughs> and let's age up Olive. Oh, okay, Joshua sent all the gift, all right. <laughs> we'll see what he sent her. So, uh, we're kind of an aspiration, but I'm just gonna randomize the tray. Okay, angelic, I'll take it. <laughs> but what I'm gonna do is, Oh, what just happened there? Put Olive down. It's also, it seems decided that Olive has got the right skin tone yeah, now, which I'm happy about. What I am gonna do just before I age it up is I downloaded a mod recently called The Life Decided by Kawaii Stacy. I've actually done a review of it in one of my recent videos, so I'm gonna link that down below. But I'm gonna do that quickly on Olive to just kind of see what we get. So I'm just gonna decide her, her life. Okay, so we've leveled up. Ooh, so we leveled up the communication skill, potty skill, movement all that stuff so we've got um a few little little life skills now which is good give me a bit of a head start and we should also have got oh no we don't get a trait as a toddler no we don't get anything else as a toddler it's more for an adult but that's quite good so we've decided her life a bit has it changed her trait actually no so she stayed angelic but let's jump into Cass and 
Alpha for CC, I'll live up. <laughs> oh, okay, so she's looking so cute. She is looking so cute. I'm gonna take off the Maxis Match hair and we'll see what we can do if I'm just gonna take the skin details off as well. I am just gonna change the skin tone to something that I think would seem a little bit more realistic looking at Raven and Joshua as parents. Right, so she aged up with black hair and also kind of afro style hair which I think that is quite a possibility because Joshua has his hair all shaved off so it could quite possibly be curly. So I'm gonna kind of go with that. Oh my gosh, these eyebrows are looking a bit strange. And I've definitely got some hair that I've kind of got in mind. Let me show you. So wait, I'm gonna put on um, some edges first because I don't think these hairs will work very well without it. Oh, I've got some really cute baby hairlines, you know. I think I like this one best and we'll definitely go with the darkest. We'll see how it matches with the hair. But we've got either something like this or like pigtails or to the side or like that with four ones, that's really cute. And I've also got these that aren't like Kills have obviously been braided, which I don't think I like as much as the first ones. That is really cute though. But I'm feeling like that would be really long and she's still quite a young child. I'm saying that and these are like super long as well. <laughs> <laughs> not making sense, but it's not making sense. I quite like this one with the um, purple bobbles on. Oh my god, she's so cute. I love it. She's so cute. <laughs> um, what colour eyes has Raven got? Oh, I can't remember. Okay, yeah, she's got dark brown eyes. So, I mean, we could go with something a little bit darker than Raven's because I'm pretty sure Josh has got quite dark brown eyes too. Don't know if I want to put any skin details on her. Oh my gosh, she would give her eye bags already, like fresh out the womb, already done with life. So, that's her face and I'm just going to do some outfits as well. So, I hope you're all ready for just how cute Olive looks. I kind of went with the purple theme. I felt like I had to because she's got the purple bobbles in. <laughs> So we've got this cute little day outfit. I might actually put a little necklace on her. Oh, do we not have necklaces for toddlers? Oh no. Oh, never mind. Then we won't put a necklace on her. Also, I just realised I forgot to put her eyes on all of the outfits. Why isn't there like a select button so that the eyes goes on for every single one? Okay, so here's her first outfit. She's got a cute little checkered dress on, formal, sleep, party. How cute is this dress? Oh my god, she's actually breaking my heart. <laughs> Swim, it's got a little swimsuit on, hot weather, um, look at those little shoes, look at the shoes with the rabbit on. And then cold weather, I love this little jumper that she's got and some wellies for the cold rain, makes sense. And I'm just going to make a few changes to Raven because I am thinking Raven's just had a baby, she's probably not going to have a body that is how it was before, so I'm just going to up her body weight up a little bit and bring her tummy out a bit as well. And I'm thinking some of the outfits that she's wearing now, she may not be too comfortable in. So I'm just gonna change them into something. Like it's not forever, but I do feel like when you've had a baby, you probably don't wanna be <laughs> like wearing little crop tops. I'm just gonna put this hoodie on with that outfit. So I'm not making any like huge changes. I still think she'd be happy to wear everything else. I'm gonna give her some pajamas though. <laughs> she can have a nice comfy silk nighty instead. So maybe something like that should be a bit more comfortable in for party and okay wow <laughs> she's um she's not wearing anything in the hot weather. There we go. I mean Raven's still very stylish. There we go. So we've got something very similar but it's just in coat form now instead. Oh my gosh look at how cute she is. That's a wool not a live. Oh my god. Right, let's do a travel then. So we could either go to the park in Brindleton Bay that I don't really like that much. I quite like just the the OG park, the Willow Creek park, because it's got frogs and stuff in and I mean, why wouldn't you wanna go fishing for frogs? Fishing for frogs, I don't think you fish for frogs. You're like, ugh, that's a mouthful. <laughs> I don't think you fish for frogs. Let's both, I don't think there's any kind of toddler things. So I'm just gonna kind of put a few toddler bits in. You know what, I really wish I had the toddler park because there's so many more things to do with toddlers, but unfortunately, I don't. You don't realise how little, like, amount of toddler things you've got. I should really invest in the toddler pack. When it comes on sale, I'll do that. <laughs> well, here we are. We're over Brightly and Olive's day, and I kind of want to get them to walk over to the pond. I know there's nothing that toddlers can do, which is so annoying. Like, why can't toddlers and the parents kind of do a bit of nature doing and 
digging and you know all, all the you know getting off things like oh olive's going so slowly because she can't walk oh look at her falling over so cute but i'm thinking because raven's a scientist as she's shown us because she's going over to talk to victor feng and play chess which please don't do that when we've got olive here um i'd rather you went over here and kind of taught olive the wonders of the world so because raven is a scientist what is ash doing <laughs> i kind of get the impression that she'd want to talk, start teaching olive from a very young age about the science and things <laughs> which means that if it's only an if I don't know yet it's not been announced but if university does get announced it means that we could maybe eventually send Olive to uni I don't know what she'd do would she follow in her mother's footsteps and be into science and stuff or would she want to do something completely different we don't know yet but here we are we're gonna kind of show talk to Olive kind of show her the wonders of the world look Olive this is a pond these things are called fish and we're gonna go look for frogs, which I wish we could do together, but we can't because where have we gone? We've just put her over there, have we? Well, we were gonna show her a frog. Come on, just get a frog. I want you to show Ray Olive a frog, please. Get a stupid frog. Raven's hungry, so let's cook her a burger. <laughs> or is there anything more child specific? No, let's just do some tofu dogs. Child, children love tofu, don't they? Oh no, she's like gone over to these random people and she's asking them for food. Raven, what are you doing? This is just, this is the frog's fault. This is the frog's fault, okay? We're a good mum, really. Don't worry, we're cooking you some tofu. Yeah, maybe I should do run away. Ask if this guy's got some um, tastier toddler food. Okay, Ash, no. Please no, please no, Ash. Don't eat human food. Not if we're gonna be putting it in a toddler's mouth. I feel like that is very unhygienic. Just give him some catnip, chill out. Chill out, Ash. Maybe she could try and make some friends. Are you allowed to talk to children? Toddlers just really can't do much, can they? <laughs> they can't do much at all. Maybe we could try and talk to this little boy over here. I know he's a little bit older than her, but it would be nice if Olive could make some friends. Oh, she's not happy. She's like, Bum, why did you bring me to this stupid park where there's only things for children to do? I'm a toddler. There's nothing for me to do, Mum. <laughs> I just want to go home. I can't even go in the little pool because it's too cold. It definitely looks like we made a little friend, though. Should I? Why? Should I like age him down? <laughs> I'm gonna age him down to a toddler. Okay, you've just got reset. Oh, he's cute, he's cute. Talk to stranger. Why are you feeling insecure? You're literally like two years old. Why are you feeling insecure? You can do a funny introduction to him too. Oh, look at how shy she's being. She's like, oh my gosh, she's like doing a little wet. So cute, so cute. Also, who's this guy who's just come over and trying to chat up Raven? Also, where's our friend gone? Where's our little friend gone? Oh, he's, he's disappeared. It's disappeared, but never mind. Why don't you go into play with some blocks while mum gets chatted up? Because let's face it, Raven is one hot mum. Also, I'm feeling like we should probably go home soon because it is now eight at night and we're still at the park. <laughs> I wish all these strangers would stop coming over and talking to us. Oh, Olive can now talk. She can talk about toys, talk about trucks, yell at people, say all the nonsense that she wants to. That's great. Right, well, let's let's go home, Raven. Let's go home. Get poor Olive. Oh, my God. Look at how tired she is. Let's get poor Olive to bed. Oh, my gosh. You know what? I've not even got Olive a bed. Wow. Why was I so rubbish? I'm so rubbish. She has got a spare room, but I do think for now we can just put her in, like, in a mum's room, kind of just over here. Let's build her a nice little toddler area. We've definitely not got much money to kind of do this with, so I'm going to have to be a little bit careful about what I'm doing. Oh, so we're kind of down to our last, our last £100, so I'm just trying to get Raven some cute little toys. We can't afford a toy box, unfortunately. But she's got a few toys here, a potty and a little learning stack of things. Don't think I need anything else that I can pick up off the top of my head. But let me show you the little room. I've really not been able to do much decoration to it. Let's just turn on this light. So she's got panda wallpaper, which I think is real cute. Let's just stop jumping around. Do some good camera work for once in your life, Lois. So yeah, I've really not been able to do much. As Raven gets paid a bit more money, I will keep decorating this a bit. So we've got a cute little bed, a little bunny lamp that you can't really see because it's lit up, but it's definitely a bunny. Why have you just left her outside? Where is she sleeping? What are you doing? Why have you just left your little baby sleeping on the floor outside? Why? Why have you done this? Go wake her up and put her to bed. Oh my god, you com complete crazy woman. <laughs> go put her to bed. I think for now I am going to keep Olive and go read her to sleep. Do some good parenting. 
yeah I'm gonna let Olive stay at the end of Raven's bedroom for now and as she's a child I'll decorate this room for her to have all to herself but I do feel for a young toddler, you would kind of want them in the same room as you. And with Raven being like a single mum as well, probably make her feel a little bit better. So we're actually going to go put her to sleep, which is good. <laughs> so here we go. This is definitely a cute little scene. Raven reading Olive to bed and Olive is, oh God, she's so cute. Look at how adorable she is. She is so adorable. But I think I'm going to leave this episode here because my throat is starting to hurt. Just going to put it out there. Again, I'm sorry if my voice has annoyed anyone. I know it's a little bit on the nasally side. But I hope you've enjoyed this episode. We've aged up Olive and kind of shown her, given her a first taste of life. No frogs though. We, we couldn't get a frog, which is a bit unfortunate. But I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode and I'm looking forward to filming the next episode with Olive and Raven. And I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day and I'll see you next time. Bye.